Well, it's early. Yeah, they got stuff to do. But some stuff came up that I kind of want to talk about. And uh, so I'll do this and get it out of the way. Uh, I actually, at times, will watch like M or CB or CNN, MSNBC, this kind of thing, just to see what they're up to or what they're promoting at the time, you know, because they always have their own line on things. So it's interesting once in a while uh, to take a peek at them. Though, you know, it's all bullshit, and sometimes it's very hard to watch. Uh, you just give up in frustration because what they're saying is, is totally untrue. But I was watching, and these people were very concerned about like the audit going on, this sort of thing, uh, has them really spooked. Well, because if you pull something like what they pulled, you've got to be a little nervous. <clears throat> but they were saying, oh, we have to watch out because there might be another insurrection like there was an insurrection. <laughs> and then they were all shook because somebody on AON, uh, I actually, I never, OAN, I never really watch it. I mean, it's there, but you know, it's available, but I, I hardly ever watch that. Uh, it tends to be Sometimes some of these networks, they're only, they're just telling you what they think they you want to hear. You know, not giving you really the straight story. They're giving you that slant on it, just like CNN and them do what they give their slant. You got to sort through that garbage. <coughs> well, they were all in in arms because somebody would have had asked one of them a question, you know, that what should be done with these people if they are actually, you know, after all this audit and stuff, if this proves that there was cheating going on, which is kind of a foregone conclusion, and they are even aware of this. But what should be done with the people that are guilty of this? And one of the studio people said, well, what they used to do is execute them, because what they have done is actually treason. Well, I don't see that happening, but of course they ran with it. Oh my God, they're going to line them all up and shoot all the Democrats. You know, not a bad thing, but a little extreme. And that's why, you know, they always play extremes. So they were going on about that. Oh, it's going to be a mass execution. But there are a lot of people involved. You know, to pull a scam like that, it takes a lot of people involved. To varying degrees, but <laughs> there's a lot of them that are really involved in this. Well, they're getting nervous. But I think in the end, you know, like, what do you do with it? You can't keep just saying, oh, bad, don't do that again, and turning them loose. They keep doing this. They keep on doing this. Uh, these people get caught pulling these shenanigans, and you just let them go and let them do it again. You know, I, I can't believe how many people, how many corrupt people are allowed back in to that sort of thing. Anyway, the appropriate punishment in this sort of thing is actually just banishment. Well, banishment and probably <laughs> civil asset forfeiture. Uh, a lot of these people made a lot of money pulling these scams, and 
everyone, you know, they all got to write books. I, I can't believe how many of these, I don't know who in the world would be buying these books, but they're all writing books. They can always get these people on a talk show or on an interview show as long as they can have their book there because they're all pushing the book. But when you pull a scam like that, a crime, you're really not supposed to be able to profit from them. So I think, yep, take away their money, kick them out of the country, send them to some communist country and they can do with them what they want, see how they like it then. But I think that is the way to handle it. But we can't have those people hanging around, uh, pulling their dirty tricks in the background all the time. Just got to get rid of them. <clears throat> I just don't <coughs> don't think you really have to light them up and shoot them. I mean, there's some of them that may, uh, they really deserve it, but uh, it seems in this day and age to be a little extreme. But it was the method for handling that sort of thing before. Well, you know, I think there's going to be a lot of stuff uh, coming up, you know, because there's a lot of people pushing for more audits. I mean, there's, the problem is, that, you know, we're dealing with our judicial system is, is really doing nothing but protecting the real criminals. We got to get past them, you know. Like, like when I say a lot of people in cahoots on on this election scam, really, the Supreme Court is right in there. I mean, uh, that they refuse to hear this sort of thing. You know, I think uh, something has to be done with those people too. But because all they do, really, the, the biggest criminals that we have are really politicians and they just get off on everything all the time. So that's got to be handled. But I think banishment is a good thing if any other country would take them. But boy, I can't just maybe don't tell them, just bring them down and dump them off someplace, Cuba or something, just dump them off. They can deal with them. But we can't have them people back. Well, speaking of that, I, I I was sort of here, you know, I think yesterday it came out that uh, John McAfee had supposedly killed himself in a Spanish prison. You know, they were trying to extradite him back here and they just got this lined up where they wanted to get him back here, you know, but at the same time, you put somebody like him on trial, this isn't going to really work out well. So, for the U.S. Justice Department, uh, they were, I'm sure, quite happy that the problem is solved. You know, it takes them off the hook because you get him in court, he's going to say things that they don't want said. You know, he's aware of the corruption. You, you know, so. The most convenient thing for them, which keeps happening, is if he just commits suicide. And, and he was aware of this. He warned of this years ago uh, that when it came right down to it, the chances are that if they caught up with him, he would be whacked. I mean, he and they said, "Oh no, you're paranoid." Well, probably not. Probably, probably going to get whacked, and he did. And it's so much more convenient if they could do it. You know, I could bring him here, and then they got to do a thing like they did with that Epstein. You know, kind of do it when he's in a U.S. prison. It makes us look bad. But if you can get rid of him over in Spain, uh, then it's not our problem. Oh, them Spaniards ruined the whole thing. But I, uh, uh, you know, because a, a lot of people that were aware of what was going on said, this, this don't sound right. But you probably won't hear anything about it. You know, it's, it's convenient for our judicial system to have him out of the way.
but it's it's a shame. But I tell you, our system is so ungodly corrupt. And you got, like I said, the FBI and the CIA off doing their own thing. <laughs> no. <laughs> that damn Pelosi. You know, they've been trying to get some commission to study this insurrection. Ooh, and, and today, you know, she was saying, oh, it was the causes of the insurrection. It had nothing to do with them stealing the election, though, you know, obviously all the people that were doing it thought that's what they was involved. According to her, it was all white supremacist and, and anti-Semitics. <laughs> that's the cause. News to them people, you know, <laughs> that's funny. But she's bound to determine, you know, they want to put the blame on something, but it couldn't be anything to do with the election being stolen. No, it couldn't be that. It has to be some other. And white supremacist, that, that's the answer. <laughs> you know, I think, well, the good thing is, people like Biden and her and the <laughs> Prince of Evil himself, Soros, these people don't have long to live. And there will be great rejoicing when they are gone. There are some people, I mean, they just need to be gone. Those people are right in there. There's no earthly reason for them people to still be alive. They're alive and McAfee is dead. Uh, how this is justice is beyond me. He was harming no one. They are harming the whole country. Or in the case of Soros, really the whole world. But, but there will be a reckoning eventually. Just sometimes these things take time. But when Pelosi is worried about the, you know, that there might be another insurrection, when, when what these audits are designed to show shows up, and people realize just how much of a scam was being pulled, she's they're definitely afraid there'll be another insurrection. This time, maybe it, it, it will be an insurrection. I mean, it'll actually be an armed intervention, let's say. <laughs> but that won't be an inter insurrection. That will just be justice, just coming home to roost. I mean, that, that's all it is. But I was really sorry to hear about, you know, McAfee. There was no call for that. But he knew more than they wanted him to know. And he was perfectly willing to talk about it. But they said, you know, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, he, he was, he had shown no inclination toward this, but it was something that he worried about, that they would, that they would suicide him. This was a concern of his. And surprise, surprise, he turns up dead. There's a lot of people turn up dead for mysterious, unknown reasons. You know, well, and evidently you're just supposed to accept this, but I don't really accept it. Uh, I am highly suspicious. But I don't think we have to go to the the extent of lining Democrats up and, and shooting them. <laughs> but you got to get them out of the country. If they want to be socialist, there's plenty of countries they can go to. We, we can't have them here. That's enough of that. Yeah, well.